Hey guys, and welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is Wendy. This will be my third Color Street video. I do not sell them. I just kind of got introduced to them a few months ago and I'm loving them. So I have a set on right now that's been probably a couple of weeks. So we are gonna take these off. I'm gonna show you guys the new little, I got four new sets, like the buy three, get one free. Um, I'll show you guys what I got. And then we are gonna talk about, I have my notes over here. We're gonna talk about some tips and tricks that I learned from you guys. When I did my first video, I knew nothing about them. I had never tried them before. I was a total newbie trying to put them on and I got so many um, comments like telling me what I should try or like some tips and tricks and whatnot. And I have some friends that sell and they have given me some ideas as well. So I figured it would be fun to go through and talk about some tips and tricks because maybe there are some that you guys don't know about. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the new sets that I just got. And I'm hoping they're all regular ones. One of you pointed out in my first video that I ordered a petite. I had no idea I did that. Totally forgot to double check this time. I don't even know how that happened on the last one, but one of you guys totally said something and you were right. They were petites. Um, I was able to use them because I've got really short nails, so I was able to use them. I did use them on my kids too. So we are gonna go through and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I remove them. And then we're gonna put the new set on and then we'll get into all the tips and tricks. So this first one is Berlin It to Win It. I'm not a huge fan of the solids, but I really was liking this color and I've heard that you can double these up, that it's better to do that. But I definitely prefer the glitters because those seem to last a lot longer. But okay, that's the first one. And then this next one is only in Vegas. This one is super pretty. And then this next one I have is Ibiza Nights. This one is so pretty, I love that purple. And then this is my favorite one. I feel like they need to have this all year round. I'm assuming it's just a holiday color, but this is holidays. It is so pretty. This is the one I'm gonna put on today. I just love how this one looks. So yeah, these are the four that I just got and we are gonna remove these. I will say they did just come out with, um, I think this week they came, like I said, I do not sell, just so you guys know. I'm just, my friend keeps me informed. Um, they did just come out with some new Valentine ones, so you guys should totally check those out. There's some really cute ones. Now I might need to go order more. <laughs> but I will have, um, for this month, I have an affiliate link with my friend who sells. So if you guys are interested, if you don't know anybody that already sells, um, check out the link in the description box and you guys can shop on there. All right, let's go remove this set so we can put on a new one. For removing them, I am using these little gauze pads and I'm using this acetone uh, nail polish remover from Sally's. I know I got a lot of comments about people telling me to use Mineral Fusion. Uh, I will talk about that later on in the video as well. But I wanted to use the rest of this before I ordered anything new, but I definitely am gonna give that stuff a try one of these days. So it really, this the acetone works really good on the glitter. It's I mean, it's really no different than regular glitter polish. It's always a pain in the butt to take off. So you just have to give it a little elbow grease. Like it's not that bad. So um, I found that I haven't used non-acetone remover before, so I'm not sure if that stuff works, but this stuff works just fine. So I'm just going to remove the rest and then we can get to the application process. So when you open up the packaging, you are going to see the actual nail strips they're all sealed and you're gonna get this prep pad and then a little nail file and I really like these nail files they're not like flimsy or soft or anything like they actually work really good so you get the two little strips in here and then I'm gonna cut them open and then we will get to applying them and just remember once you open a package they aren't you know they say they won't really stay fresh for too long so I'm just gonna use this color. Um, I've seen so many different cute variations of like different strips being used, like four different kinds, but I'm just gonna use this one. So first I'm going to wipe down my nails with the prep pad, and then I'm gonna set this to the side because I'm going to actually wipe them again when I'm done applying them. Now I'm taking one strip and I'm putting it onto my pinky and I'm going to get it all flat on there and then pull it apart and then take the other side right over to my other pinky and apply it to that one. So I'm basically using one strip for like the same finger on each hand. 
Now, I forgot to do this in the beginning, but when I first did my first set of nails, I used the little file to push back my cuticles, and that thing actually works really well because, like I said, it's not flimsy at all, and it's just really, it works really well to do that. So I forgot to do it on the pinky. So now I'm just going to start filing down the excess uh, nail strip on the pinkies, and then we will get to the other ones. So I'm not going to bore you guys with applying every single one, but I will say I saved the thumbs for last because like some of y'all have told me that you can use your thumbs kind of as a tool and to help um, apply the other ones. So I did save the thumbs for last and then next we are going to get into my tips and tricks. So stay tuned for that. Now I am taking that prep pad and just wiping the nails down again just to make sure that there's no dust or anything on them. And then I'm going to actually apply the top coat. So first I'm going to put them away and I'm taking them off and separating them into smaller little pieces because the first time I did this, I tried to put the whole long strip back in and yeah, that was near impossible. So if you break them up into like two pieces or one, and then you can go ahead and flatten this out with your straight iron and that will seal it. So for the top coat, I'm just using this gel top coat that I have and this stuff works really good. You don't have to use a super duper expensive one, but I probably wouldn't recommend a super cheap one either. Okay guys, we are back. I am obsessed with these. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. So they did the holidays. Can you see them? These are so pretty. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, like I don't know, I'm assuming these are only sold at Christmas time because I don't know. I think they need to be sold all year round. These are so pretty. Love them. Okay, so they're so quick and easy to put on, like literally under 10 minutes. Can't beat that. Okay, so I'm. these aren't really going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to kind of go through them. And um, these are just kind of like stuff that I found in the, my comment section, like from you guys, and then stuff from my friend. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is someone recommended applying these before bed. So if you do that, you are going to give them a lot of time to cure. Um, I did read someone said to wait 30 minutes, I want to say, before you wash your hands, um, just to let them cure. And that makes total sense. Like to, if you were to put them on at bedtime and then you could sleep all night and then they'll cure. And then when you wake up in the morning, they'll be nice and set. So I thought that that was a really good tip. Unfortunately, I didn't do that today because I wanted to get these on for this video, but I will do that in the future. All right, the next tip that I did not know the first time I did my nails, which I wish I would have known. I don't even know what I did the first time. I was a hot mess. But everyone says to start with your pinkies and end with your thumbs because your thumbs are like a really good tool to get, you know, just to just to use throughout the whole process. So I thought that was really good advice is to start with your pinkies and then end with your thumb. And another thing, this kind of goes with that. Um, someone said in one of my videos, which I didn't do it the first time, but I did do it every time after that because I think I figured it out. Um, but to use, and you guys will see me do this in the process, but use one strip for both, like one strip for both pinkies. So since my nails are nice and short, I can do that. If you have long nails, you probably won't be able to do that. But yeah, so I did the one part here, tore it off, and then went straight over to this other pinky and then did that one. So I still have like a whole nother manicure in there that I can use another time. Okay, one other thing, I wanna say I saw this on the Color Street website, I wanna say, or no, no, maybe it says it on the actual directions. It says to use the prep pad before and after. So I didn't know that to use it after, um, but it makes sense. It kind of gets any like file, like dust or anything off of your nails. So I went ahead and used the pad before I put them on and then after they were finished, before I did the top coat, then I wiped it off again with that same little pad. Okay, so the next tip that I have found from a lot of people is to put these in the freezer when you're finished with them. So I thought that that was crazy because, I don't know, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Put stuff in the freezer to keep it fresh longer. 
So they said if you do put it in the freezer, you are going to want to take them out and let them get to room temperature for about 30 minutes before you apply them because you want them to be warm when you put them on. I have a feeling that if they were cold, they would not stick. So if you do put them in the freezer, make sure that they sit out at room temperature for a while just to make sure that they will stick to your nails. And then kind of going along with that one, um, I did do this in my first video. I showed you guys how I seal them. And I know, I know it says on the Color Street website, like they are a one-time use. Um, these are just tips and tricks to kind of keep them fresh longer. So I totally understand that it says that it's a one-time use, but these are just tips and tricks that I've heard from you guys and friends. So yeah, um, you can seal it with your straight iron. So you can either use a straight iron or a lighter if you're very careful. I didn't tell you guys that, um, but just get some heat to that plastic and then it'll seal it right back up again. And I have been using my straight iron and it works just fine. Um, another one, a lot of people have, a lot of people recommend is to use a top coat. Well, I did not know that in the, for the first time I got called out on that a lot. They're like, you didn't use a top coat. And I was like, well, I didn't know I was supposed to. Um, so I have been using just, uh, it's like a gel clear top coat and it actually works really really well it hasn't ruined the nails because I have heard that if you use a cheap top coat it can ruin the manicure so I was very very thankful that the stuff I had did not ruin them so I've just been using that here I showed you guys how I use regular acetone remover it's kind of like a like a your basic glitter polish you just have to scrub a little bit harder but it definitely works so I've just been using my regular remover that I have. A lot of people have recommended this mineral fusion, which I will probably get some, but I'm trying to use up the stuff I have first, but you can get that on Amazon I've seen. Um, so yeah, a ton of you recommended that. So I will want, I want to give that a shot one of these days. Oh yeah. So this is a really, this is a really big one. If you guys saw my first video, I was like having a heck of a time getting the little nail pieces back into the plastic. Um, that was like the hardest part of this whole entire process. So a bunch of you had recommended tear them apart and then put them in back in in smaller groups and they will go a lot easier. So I usually tear them off like into one or twos and then they're able to get right back in the bag a lot easier. Um, yeah, don't try to shove the whole entire strip back in there because you'll be fighting with that forever. Okay. I'm saving the best one for last because this one is really cool. Okay, so the next one is, this one might be kind of pretty common. I think a lot of people already know this one, but for the solid colors, you should double them up either with another one of the solid color, like the same one, or a glitter on top. Because if, I know I talked about this before, but when I did my first solid set, it chipped right away. So. If you are using a solid color, make sure you put like a glitter overlay or some like another solid color over it, and then it will last a lot longer. Okay, this one is my favorite. I, if I can find the comment again, I will put it right here and give you a shout out because this is by far my favorite one. Okay, so if you guys remember my other videos, my main pet peeve about these types of nails is when it gets stuck in your hair. When it gets stuck in your hair or you can like feel it, you can like feel the edges um, over here in the cuticles or on the sides, like when they start to grow out, you can like really feel them. This brilliant, brilliant person gave me the idea to put a little bit of nail polish remover on a Q-tip and rub it along the rough edge, not too hard because you don't want the polish to come off, but just rub it a little bit and it'll make the edge a lot smoother. It doesn't take the edge completely away, but oh my goodness, it helped so much. I was blown away when I tried that one the first time. I was like, you are a genius. So whoever left me that comment, I really appreciate that one. All right, you guys, that does it for my tips and tricks for Color Street. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any more tips and tricks that I didn't talk about or that I don't know about. Let me know which one is your favorite and which one you guys find the most useful and don't forget to check out their Valentine designs. I need to go on and probably get some more. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys use Color Street, if you sell it. Um, yeah. And if you've never heard of it, I'll have a link in the description box if you guys want to check it out and we will see you all in my next video. Bye.